Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I have a number of my team members with me here today because we want to cover an interesting topic, and that is how would you tell someone that you care about that they have bad breath? It can be a touchy subject. Uh, people wonder, how do you do that? So we're going to survey uh, our people. And this is, by the way, Lucy. This yeah. is Beth. This is Olivia and Courtney and Kayla. And uh, we're going to ask each of them uh, what they would do. And I'll throw in my two cents also. Let's see if we can come up with some ideas because you probably all know people who who have offensive or bad breath and you haven't been able to tell them and it's unfortunate because it can affect their social life people may not want to interact with them as much and so it'd be nice if one could convey that message particularly since bad breath is treatable at least in our office we have hundreds of people who come from all over the country and all over the world to eliminate their bad breath so uh, why don't we start out with uh, Lucy. How would you tell someone they have bad breath? Well, I think I would really want to handle it in a respectful way. Um, I would pull my friend or family member aside privately and tell them, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, I just want to be honest with you. Um, I think you have some bad breath. Really gently, maybe not that exact way. I'd say, <laughs> maybe you need to go brush your teeth. Well, that, that's reasonable, straight out. Well, let's go next. How about you, Beth? Um, I think that, you know, I would say that I, again, I don't want to hurt your feelings, and I know it's something that's very sensitive, but that I would want someone to tell me if I had a problem, and I would say I think you have an issue. I don't know if it's that you're not brushing or flossing enough. Um, maybe try that, and if that doesn't help, that maybe, you know, there's another underlying issue going on. But I would stress that I would want to know if I had a problem, and so I you know, want them to know as well. I would probably say, you notice sometimes I notice that maybe you've eaten something or you haven't eaten in a while, and sometimes I notice that there's a strong aroma, perhaps. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, but I would, I would that's kind of the way would, I would say it. I would say, sometimes I noticed there's a little uh, unpleasant uh, scent to your breath, and perhaps you haven't eaten or didn't brush your teeth, uh, or you ate something that causes this, but I just thought you should know about it. I'd probably do something like that. Well, for me, I would probably take a sort of scientific approach just because I wouldn't want to offend someone close to me so I might say something along the lines of when's the last time you went to the dentist and based off their response I would say well maybe next time you go have them check for pocketing or have them check your tongue because there are bacteria that can give off sulfuric gases which contribute to bad breath so if it's not in your teeth it could be your tongue so there's a few different or sources and I would probably do that scientific approach. By the way, the word you could use instead of bad, bad or offensive is kind of a sour or an off note to your uh, breath. And that probably uh, is less offensive and maybe a somewhat uh, more subtle and comfortable way to handle it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Courtney? I would approach it in the same way, not wanting to hurt their feelings, but definitely let them know <laughs> I smell something. Um, everyone who knows me, I'm a jokey person, um, but truly what comes from the heart goes to the heart. Um, I would definitely just let them know I smell something and definitely try to give them some resources of who to see to rectify this issue. But that would be my approach. And what about you? I'd probably ask along the same lines um, as far as um, how even medical questions um, what is your what is going on in your medical history what is um, you know scientifically because a lot of times things can come from your stomach too or tonsils or your nose and throat so uh, sometimes I might even ask them what is going on with them medically that could be causing an odor of some sort as well 
uh, and by the way, I have some, some notes here. There is something that one might call the stealth approach. <laughs> the, you can buy a copy of a book which talks about bad breath, wrap it and place it on someone's desk and just <laughs> anonymously leave it there. Didn't they call that like the green phantom or something like that? <laughs> Anyways, so or you could just leave a note and, or someone could just leave a note. You know, you might want to get your breath checked and then don't, you don't have to let them know who it is, but let them know that there's a problem. We do treat bad breath and the a variety of patients we have is quite amazing. We have patients coming from all over and we our success rate is extraordinarily high. We've yet to, in my opinion, have someone who actually had bad breath uh, not respond to the treatment. So you can contact our office, we'll be happy to see you and we feel that if you have a problem, we will eliminate the problem. A lot of people feel they have a problem, but when we test them, they don't. It's just they think, well, the people act funny around me, and that's the reason they have bad breath, but that is not, that really doesn't mean anything. So if you have bad breath, contact our office, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to eliminate it for you. In the meantime, I want to thank all you guys, and if you guys have any ideas on how to tell somebody they have bad breath or you've had the experience, let us know. We would love to have your comments. We would love to have your questions, and we would love you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, remember, if your mouth's not healthy, your breath probably isn't going to be healthy, and your body is not going to be as healthy as it could be. So, you know, healthy breath, healthy mouth, healthier body. Hey, have a great day from all of us. Take Bye. care. See ya. <laughs> Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.